decided that I'm gonna start making more YouTube videos and I'm gonna start making them vlog style. So I'm gonna just go through like day-to-day -day life, whatever's going on with me, lifting tips, nutrition tips, pretty much just whatever I'm up to um, and talk about it on the vlog. I'm also gonna do a few other vlogs throughout, um, sprinkled in there where I'm talking about specific information topics because I do think that is useful and it's something that's easy to search um, where it's just a specific topic, the whole video talks about that and there's not a bunch of other random stuff stuff about me, me, my life, just random stuff thrown in. So the vlogs though, I'm going to try to upload about one to two a week. Um, just going over, you know, my own training, my, um, kind of sprinkling what I do with my business. So I'm online personal trainer, online fitness coach. Um, so if there's anything revolving around that, that I want to talk about, I'll throw that in here. Um, and then right now for my own fitness goals, I'm actually trying to put on, um, some a good amount of size and strength while staying pretty lean um and so previously when i had bulked up or tried to gain muscle i just ate everything in sight for the most part and i gained more body fat than i would have liked to um and it became harder to cut down when i decided that i wanted to lose body fat and like have abs showing and all that action again so this time around i think these videos and me recording and showing you what i'm doing are going to hold me more accountable and not just let me pick out and try to just bulk up and put on as much size as possible so that's another Another added reason why I'm doing this as well to keep me accountable um, and so this first video just wanted to give an introduction of what I'm doing why I'm doing it all that action um, so right now I'm actually weighing around 180 181 um, in the morning and then right here you'll see a video of what I look like so as you can see Still pretty lean. Still pretty lean. Not too bad. So I'm actually going to call these vlogs throughout this time where I'm trying to gain size and taking you through my day to day and as I travel and as my business grows, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna call it the Gains Chronicles. So I'm trying to increase size, um, increase strength, so trying to make some gains. So that's what we're gonna call it. Kind of goofy, but it goes along with my same branding type of thing, Journey to Gainesville. So I'm excited to get this rolling. This is the first time that I've ordered anything uh, online, supplement-wise or lifting-wise for a long time. Normally for pre-workout, which I used to take a lot when I first started lifting, um, I normally just drink coffee now. And by normally, I mean I drink coffee every single time before I work out, just some caffeine. And like pre-workout is fine, it gives you energy and gives you some juice, but I just have been lazy and haven't bought any in coffee. Just love the flavor of it. So, first supplement that I've bought for a while, um, and I think it is useful and there's a lot of research to back it up. So let's dive in. Also, I have another thing in here that I'm gonna explain while I got it, what I got as well. So two quick items. That's not how you do it. So, got a bag of air, love that. All right, we have just creatine monohydrate, none of the fancy stuff that you'll see where it has a whole bunch of other BS added into it, just straight up creatine monohydrate, that's all you need when it comes to creatine, not the creatine HCL or whatever else throw-ins that companies try to advertise and sell you on. This stuff is dirt cheap, this is, 80 servings and it was like a hundred or it was like ten dollars like just not much at all and this is really all you need just five grams per day um and a lot of it's the most tested supplement in the industry um it's been around for a while it marginally helps a little bit increase um increase strength um you're able to bust out a few more reps so because you are can increase strength a little bit when it comes to um, higher, heavier weights relative to you um, and able to knock out a few more reps, um, it does allow you to increase size and strength over a long period of time. It's not something you're gonna take in the next day, you're gonna immediately notice it. It's something that it's the same thing and it's something you have to take for an extended period of time to really see the results. And then also obviously like have to have a good program in place, have to be eating um, two of your goals, so I have to be eating enough food to make progress in the gym. 
Um, but that's the only supplement I'm gonna be taking. Um, I like to get my protein from whole foods, like chicken, eggs, stuff like that, just because I like to eat and I like protein powder is fine, but it's just, I like actual meals, so I'm gonna eat it from whole foods. So, got that. And then also, other thing, got lifting straps. So these are for, um, they wrap around your wrist and you wrap, wrap them around like a bar or a handle um, just so you can hold on to it easier and your grip doesn't become a factor. So I go to LA Fitness and the gym, um, the bars that they have are like pretty terrible for deadlifting or squats or anything like that. Um, and I, there's no chalk, like the bars are stiff bars. Um, so my grip fails and has been failing before I'm even coming close to failure with the weight that I'm using. So since I'm going to be lifting there for the extended future, um, especially for those heavier movements like deadlifts, squats, well, just deadlifts for these, um, I decided that I'm pick some of these up. Um, so I'm about to go deadlift right now, actually. So you'll see these in action in a second. And last thing, they sent me some aminos. Shout out to bodybuilding.com. Bodybuilding.com, they used to send a lot more, uh, they used to send a lot more samples. Here I am getting so ready for my deadlift up, set, getting the ones. straps on. That's what we got. You know, I am myself up in the mirror before I get ready to lift some weights here. Um, but the reason I wear the straps or I got the straps um, to deadlift in in particular is because like I said the bars at LA Fitness or any commercial gym they're gonna be really slippery um, and they're not gonna be bars that are necessarily for deadlifting um, in addition to that they don't have chalk there most of those gyms don't allow chalk which help you hold on to barbells easier um, so what was happening is that when I was deadlifting over the last couple weeks at LA Fitness my my grip would fail before my actual strength and my like back hamstrings glutes legs um, would so it was preventing me from getting the most out of my workout uh, and my grip strength is pretty good all things considered I do all my back movements without straps I have for about the last year and a half it just felt like a necessary thing so here I am banging out a set of deadlifts with the straps on The deadlifts, I made a blunder. I planned to do 345 pounds for a set of seven, um, and I ended up putting 355 on, and I was curious why it was so heavy. It makes sense now. But anyway, about to put the straps in a safe location. The glove department, compartment, glove department, glove compartment, you know, gotta stay strapped, pun intended. I'm an idiot. All right, we'll see you.